so um this was not going to be the opening clip to this video but this um rookie youtuber over here somehow didn't hit play on my intro i recorded yesterday so what does that mean it means this is gonna be the end okay guys sorry grizz when I, uh, for some reason, when I talk, he wants to be all up on me right now. Um, but don't mind anything going on with my hair or face or anything because, of course, since I am having to re record this, I um, went to the gym and I'm like in a hot mess right about now. But basically, um, this video is just showing you guys um, all the different ways you can change up a basic white t-shirt. So, um, and I kind of get more into that throughout the video as you're watching. But basically, I just wanted to show you guys um, some of these options. I know my style might not be the same as what you like or how you dress, and that is completely okay. We are all unique and have our own ways of wearing things. So, um, if you see something and you would never wear what I'm wearing or whatever it may be, that's okay. Um, we're, like I said, all unique and different and have different ways we like to wear our clothing and dress up and stuff like that. So hopefully um, you're able to take away, you know, maybe one, maybe two different things from this video. Um, I just hope it's helpful for you guys. Oh my gosh, y'all. I hope it's helpful for you guys. And now my camera's falling. This is just a fail. This is my first epic fail intro. So I'm just gonna shut up and let the video get started. So, oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're here because, because why, Chris? Please. So this is the plain, basic, just a white t-shirt. I got this at Marshalls for $7, so super reasonable. It's, I mean, as basic as it gets, like nothing super fancy about it. So I just wanna show you guys what all you can do with just a simple $7 white t-shirt. So um, hopefully this is helpful. This is, um, I feel like how I get the most out of like my wardrobe. You know, I do try to make sure like I, don't like repeating outfits. So what I try to do is just, if I'm wearing like the same shirt that I've already worn or something like that, is just always wear it differently, very easily. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. Okay, so one way to spice up your white t-shirt is just to tie a front knot in it. So easy, I do this with so many of my shirts, especially if they're more baggy. This one's not too long, so it's a pretty a high knot. But the easiest way to do it, and I'll get a little bit closer, is I just pull the shirt and I'm doing a middle knot. I pull it down in the middle where I want it, wrap it around, and then tuck it in through the circle. And then I just kind of fix it and adjust it to how I want it. And then that's another way to wear your shirt. So um, same shirt, just a different little style, a little tip to Second time you wear it, maybe tie a knot in it. Um, there is also like a side knot. So that's where you just do the exact same thing, but you're gonna pull it to the side, wrap it, pull it through. Ah. Like so. So this one's gonna be just a side knot instead. So as you can see, like, that took two seconds to just change this up a little bit. So the next way I like to kind of change it up a little bit is to tuck it in. Um, and I like to do it a couple different ways. Almost anytime I pretty much tuck my shirt, I'm gonna wear a belt. Um, so with a white t-shirt, I highly recommend getting fun little printed belts. So this one has like leopard print on it. And I get these at TJ Maxx. I think I got, or on Amazon. I got a three pack on Amazon for like $8. TJ Maxx always has multi-packs like Steve Madden brand and stuff like that for like $10 or less. So I always love like a skinny, it doesn't have to be skinny, any size belt, but just like fun belts that quickly change up the look. Um, so. So the two ways I like to tuck, I will do like a front tuck and that's where I just pull the front part of my shirt 
to the front of the thing and then pull it like this. So this is a cute way and you can always tuck it in more. So sometimes, you know, I want more of the front tucked in. You can do it like that. Just depending, you know, too, on what your belt style is, you might want to do more or less of the belt showing. Um, and then you can always do the whole shirt tucked This would be just like a cute way to wear it, kind of tucked in, especially like I said, if you have a cute belt on, you want to show the belt. So tucking your shirt just gives it a different kind of look. Um, sorry, I'm looking that way. My full length mirror is right there. So another easy way to switch it up is your shoes. So we, we're all girls. We all have lots of different styles of shoes. So luckily with a plain white tee, you can dress it up or down. So one quick, easy way to dress this up is grab a pair of heels. Put on these heels, so these are just little basic, um, they're like a camel brown color. Um, so I still have on that same belt, so you can always switch it up. Maybe if I was wearing a black belt, I'd do black shoes. However, it is a white shirt, so you can really change it up and do multiple different kinds of shoes, colors, like. Um, I do have on just like a plain pair of um, blue jeans skinnies, but you could do black jeans, you could do um, really any color. If you have fun colored jeans, like that would be perfect too. So um, this is just one way and you can always, let's say um, you wanna wear this to work and then at night you're gonna go out, maybe have a few drinks or it's a little chilly outside. I wanted to take this, make this into more of a night look. I would do that two different ways. I would either, um, just tie in a leather jacket um so you can see how that just kind of spices it up a little bit and obviously i'd have on you know probably different jewelry this is just what i had on already today um so you can see that just kind of makes it more i guess going out so you can also try this with a black leather jacket so this one i feel like it's more like a night out so um like i said it really just depends what you're wanting to wear really i am all for just if you like it and feel comfortable who cares if it's more nighttime or daytime just wear it and rock it so um this is just like a cropped black leather jacket um i for me personally i would probably do black heels um something similar to this style so it's just a basic little black heel um instead of these like camel colored ones um just my personal preference but like i said it's really more up to you guys and what you feel more comfortable in. Another option, um, I think most women have several kimonos in their um, closets. If not, I highly recommend. These are some of my staple pieces. Um, I feel like a kimono that has like, you know, maybe it's floral, it's whatever kind of print it has, it could be even plain colored, are such good pieces because you can wear them over so many different tops. So like this one has very it's very springy but it has um some peachy some yellow tones green tones um cream so i could wear anything like with those kind of tones underneath this um so just to kind of change it up so i highly recommend getting pieces like this because i can wear this over a dress i can wear it with you know something like this now um it's just super versatile so super versatile and uh, so this is just like with a little kimono over it and I just have on those same little heels. Um, I took off the leopard belt and I would more than likely, and ooh, for me, almost any time I wear just a basic t-shirt like this, I do like doing at least the front tuck. Um, so with this one, like I said, get your cute skinny belt. So I would do this gold um, kind of sparkly one or I have some that are more this camel color um, to wear right here too, just to kind of add a little bit more. So that's such an easy way to kind of switch it up. Um, and y'all remember the knots? So you can always do a knot too. So just makes it a little bit different and more unique. I've talked about blanket scarves so many times in my past videos. I love them so much, but this can work with any scarf. So the good thing about a white tee, the next time you wear it, instead of just wearing it the same way, grab a scarf. That's such an easy way to throw on quick and change up the whole look. Um, so, and scarves, there's a million ways you can wear them. So you can do it around, 
like this and just kind of switch it up. And I just have on plain little black, um, those heels I showed a minute ago. So for me, let's say I was out and about and I knew I might go out for a couple drinks later. So I would maybe, and it's chilly outside, I'd throw on this scarf, leather jacket. And then we have another like cute going out look. Um, let's say it was during the day though and I was at work and I didn't want to, you know, wear this leather jacket the whole day, I would just put on like a black cardigan or if I wanted it to be a lot more casual and I still wanted the scarf, cute little like tennis shoes like this. So, um, like I said, you can switch things up a lot, change it throughout the day. Um, but it's very important just to get the pieces like this that you can throw on on top. And then with your t-shirts and stuff like that, get more basic pieces. Um, yes, fun, T fun shirts and prints and stuff like that are awesome and fun, but they're not as easy to switch all over. Not, I don't have on, I didn't flip any shoes on, but let's talk flannels. So I feel like every girl has some kind of plaid flannel in their closet and probably almost all of them would go find over a white colored t-shirt. So that is such an easy way to throw on top like this. Maybe it's kind of chilly outside. And this is going to be super casual. So for me with this, I would, I would slip on just cute little, like I said, shoes like this. If it's during the summer, you can slip or spring and it's not too cold outside. Sandals, flip flops, anything like that is fine too. Um, and then like y'all know, I said earlier, I love a front tuck. So I would do a front tuck like this, maybe a cute necklace just to add something more to it. Um, but I could use every single flannel I own over this for a different time to wear this white shirt just to kind of change it up. And the good thing about getting good flannels in your closet um, is when you can tie them around your waist for a totally different look and style. This is such a cute way to wear it. Um, so going back to what I said, if you have a black shirt like this, a gray, but all those like really neutral staple colors, you can throw all these in between back and forth. So let's say um, I had a gray shirt just like this. I could do this same exact look, but with the gray t-shirt instead. Make it a lot more dressy. This is one of my favorite ways to dress up a plain white or a basic white tee is to throw a blazer over it. So the good thing about this is you could do any kind of blazer. So it can be any color, it can be pretty much any style. So I know the really long blazers are in right now, throw that on top. Um, but if you have heels on with it, that makes it a lot more dressy. So this um, is two different ways you can wear this. So um, this is just a pair of leopard little shoes and then black heels. So just depending on what I was doing or maybe during the day I wanted to wear the little tennis shoes and then at night throw on a pair of heels. This is again, two different ways to wear it. The other options I showed you guys, I did have on those basic um, blue jeans, but I wanted to show you guys if you have cute skirts, um, even cute shorts, that is another way to dress up your basic tee. So if you watched one of my Target, my first Target haul, um, I actually got this skirt from there, so it might look familiar. Um, but I left that same black blazer on, threw on the skirt, don't mind, <laughs> I really need to self tan really bad. Um, but, and then I left the same heels on. So this is something I would wear for a date night. Um, if it was more chilly outside, I might do it with black over the knee boots. Um, but if it's, you know, spring, it's not too cold. This is a great, cute, like date night or even going out outfit. Um, and I think this is so cute and the t-shirt just makes it really comfortable. I think a lot of times we don't realize how much we have. I feel like most of you should have some kind of basic white t-shirt in your closet. Um, and maybe you actually already do this and switch it up and I love that. I think that is the best way to, if you especially don't like to go shopping or you can't go shopping, whatever it may be, to really switch up what your wardrobe is. Um, and you know, if you aren't doing this already, you should start. So go through your closet, find those staple pieces and just start mixing things around. Make it a goal to never wear it the exact same way. So that could be throwing, maybe you wear it with 
blue jeans one day, the next time you're going to wear it with black jeans. Or maybe the first time you, or last week you wore it with tennis shoes, this week you're going to wear wedges with it or a skirt or whatever it may be, switch it up. That is my challenge to you guys. And I would love to hear how that goes. Um, I know it's worked really well for me and that's gonna pretty much conclude this video. So thanks so much for watching.